can learn about Jesus, to learn about Jesus, to talk about Jesus, to listen to his words and worship him. The person who made the earth. And he's always beside us, but he like he's invisible, but we can't hear him. But if we be quiet, we can hear him. I think God was the sumo wrestler, and he tackled Jacob. But God is the, the God is Jesus. No, God is another person, but Jesus is another person. Like there's two persons. He just said, "Let there be something like light or something," and then it became this. He died on the cross for it. And then um, three days later, he rose from the dead. Because we all do bad things and we need to be forgiven. It's where you look up stuff from the past about God and Jesus and what happened. About people that did something wrong or did something good. Well, the Bible's made for the persons to think about Jesus. It's God's word. It same and it's Jesus' words too. To guide other people along and um so then they can know what um what like even little babies can know who Jesus Christ is. So they can help kids learn about God because if there were no um, adult volunteers to, as the teachers, then there would be no, nobody to teach us. Because there is nothing more important in the entire world than being able to share Christ and help to, to disciple children. Uh, if they do not come to the Lord young, it's a lot more energy and it's a lot more work to present the gospel to adults. We get to know what our kids are learning, we get to see them with their friends, and then we get to have a real conversation with them after, instead of just saying, how was your day or how was Sunday school? There's a smaller group, so the kids are more intimate and you get to know the kids more and kind of like the kids get to know you more. And so then they're actually, they get more comfortable with you and the quiet ones will actually answer questions once they actually get to know you. <laughs> this was our craft for today. We learned how Jacob wrestled with God and so all the grade one and twos got to make wrestling masks and got to make up a super name for them. The kids just, uh, they bring a lot of, uh, of perspective on faith. They see a lot of small things that sometimes us big people overlook. And it's really neat to learn from them as much as I'm able to impart something into their lives. Their little lives are so important to God. And when a mom or a dad needs to be in the service, and I know that I'm taking care of their little ones so they can receive from the Lord, it's wonderful. Like I, I just feel I don't feel like I'm missing out. I have that chance to give out and it, it's great. Nothing is impossible.